Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again, and today I'm reviewing a Halo Mega Bloth set. This time around, I'm reviewing the Battle Unit 2, which is set number 96915. It includes 20 pieces, and it retails for $14.99. So this set is exclusive to Toys R Us, so you can only buy it there. Uh, it's currently showing up on the West Coast, Toys R Us's, uh, but it should be in the Midwest and the East Coast pretty soon. Uh, one thing I want to say is that they're currently not in the Toys R Us uh, system, which that means they don't ring up, so it might be a little hard for you to find one of these or even obtain it seeing that they have to find the information for it and everything but uh, I did manage to get one of them today at Toys R Us uh, so like I said the retail price is $14.99 or $15 which isn't that bad uh, seeing that you get eight minifigures um, so essentially this whole entire set is a army builder battle pack I guess you can say uh, but anyways uh, the packaging is a little unique as, is, as you can see here it has these bubble cutouts which had figures displayed in them which I thought was pretty cool that was a little different um, and also the front of the packaging it shows uh, all the figures in an epic battle um, so pretty cool um, down here it's got all the figures uh, it shows what's included with the set 20 pieces 96915 battle unit 2 etc etc up here on the top of the packaging it's got a picture uh, showing all the figures which is pretty cool then on the back of the packaging here it has bios for each one of the figures and then over here it says Unice Spartan 2's and it says Spartan 2's are the most powerful soldiers in the history of the human race over here it says UNSC Flame Marine, and it says sometimes known as Hellbringers, Flame Marines have a special combat purpose. Get in the enemy's face and light it on fire. Over here we have the Covenant Elite, and it says the Noble Elite Warriors serve as a Army Field Commander. Down here it says Covenant Grunts, and it says Grunts are the Covenant's main foot soldiers. And last but not least it says UNSC Marine, and it says Marines are the heartbeat of the UNSC military machine, serving as, serving as the first and often the last line of defense. So that's the little bios for each one of the characters. Then over here it has uh, shows all these other sets. Uh, unfortunately no new sets, but there will be some new sets this fall, such as the Phantom, the Elephant, um, EVA's Last Stand, and all that sort of good stuff. Uh, but anyways, so that's pretty much it for the packaging here. Um, so now let's go over the figures. So let me move the camera here and adjust it and everything. Uh, so let's zoom in. So the first two figures um, are these grunts, which are included. Uh, so these are not um, the new grunts that are included with the Battlescape set and also the Phantom that's coming out later this year. Uh, these are the original grunts, which were included with pretty much uh, almost every set from the first wave of the Halo Wars sets. Uh, but, um, you know, nothing really too special about them. They still got the same copper paint job for their armor. Uh, I don't think it's, it's a little bit slightly different from the original paint job, but other than that, you know, it's pretty much exactly the same. Articulation for these little guys, they have a swivel joint for their arm. You can rotate it all the way around. They also have a swivel joint for their head, and also their hips are on a swivel joint. Um, so you can move that back and forth if you want to as well. And then each one of them includes a plasma pistol, which you can see here. Uh, unfortunately, it's not painted in the correct coloring. It's just in a plain purple base color. Uh, but, you know, oh well, what are you going to do? So it comes with two of these grunts, one of them there and the other one over there. So the next two figures are also Covenant, and these guys, they're new. So they're not a new figure, like they're not a new sculpt or anything, but the paint job on them is new. So if you remember the Elite Flight figures that were included with the ODST Covenant Invasion, um, also some other sets here and there, but essentially it's supposed to be the same exact paint job. Uh, there's some slight differences. This one appears to be more glossier, and this one doesn't really look to be that much. He's more of a base color and not a gloss color, uh, but essentially it's the same exact color. Um, and you get two of these guys, one there and one here, and they're just in this copper color. And then for their jumpsuit, uh, beyond the armor, is kind of a lightish gray. And both of them include a Covenant Carbine, and fortunately, just like the um, plasma pistols back here, they have just a plain purple base color, uh, no details or anything like that, but you know, still pretty cool. Um, articulation for these guys, you've got a ball-jointed neck, uh, ball-jointed shoulders, swivel elbows, and then a swivel wrist joint. Then their waist is also on a swivel joint. For their hips, it's ball-jointed, and for their knees here, it's on a hinge joint. Uh, so fairly articulated, uh, nothing really new about these guys aside from the paint job, um, and you get two of them. Okay, so now let's move on to the UNSC part of the battle pack, well the battle unit. Um, so 
two of these guys are blue and two of the other guys are orange. So you got two different teams here, the orange team and the blue team. So let's go over the orange team first. So the orange team includes one Spartan 2 and he's in the basic uh, orange color. Uh, this guy was already released before with the Covenant Brute Prowler set. Um, but this time around he has a rocket launcher rather than a battle rifle but you know pretty cool and also one cool thing about the rocket launcher it's in a plain black I don't know if they've done this before with the rocket launcher I think it's the first time but you know it's not accurate or anything but you know at least they're giving some variation to the weapons here and there um, so once again he's in the plain orange color that's they've been using for the Spartan so far uh, they made the Spartan 2 also the Hayabusa there's also one new one which is included with the set which is the Marine but I'll get to that later uh, but articulation for the Spartan 2 he's got a ball jointed head ball jointed shoulders swivel well actually a hinged elbow then swivel wrists um, swivel waist then for the hips it's a ball joint and then the knees are on a hinge joint as well so that's the Spartan 2 nothing really new about him um, so the next figure here which I mentioned is the Marine so this guy he is also the other new figure that's included with the set uh, it's not a new sculpt or anything uh, there is some new Marines coming out later this fall though that are based off the I believe it's the Halo Reach and the Halo 1 um, Marines but Anyways, uh, this guy, he has a new paint job. Uh, the sculpt and everything is exactly the same. It's just he has a orange jumpsuit rather than a black jumpsuit, which they've been using with some of the other figures. Uh, but, you know, it's nice to get um, some detail in here. Actually, you know, it's rather my mistake. They've actually been using green for the jumpsuit. Uh, there's also been a red version, which they use red. Uh, but the armor basically stays the same, which is this grayish color. Uh, so accessories this guy comes with. He comes with a black assault rifle. I believe they've done this before with a mail-in figure, but I'm not sure on that. Um, and he also comes with a backpack, which you can see here. And it is removable if you want to take it off. It has a peg on it, and then there's a peg hole on his back, and you just plug it right into there. So pretty cool. Um, so articulation for him, he has a ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders, hinged elbows, swivel wrists, swivel waist, ball hinged hips, and hinged knees. So that's pretty much it for the flame marine there. Nice to get a different uh, color variation with these guys. So let's get him standing up here. So now let's go over the blue team. So you get one Spartan 2 here, and then accessory he comes with is a Magnum. So this Magnum is in a plain black color, just like all the other weapons that are included with this uh, pack. Um, so pretty cool. He only gets one of them, not two unfortunately, but oh well. Uh, articulation for him is exactly the same. It's ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders, uh, hinged elbows, swivel wrist, swivel waist, ball hinged hips, and hinged ankles. Well, actually ball jointed hips. Um, so once again he is in a plain blue color. It's almost identical to the one that they've been using so far with the uh, the blue with the blue color. Uh, it just has a more glossier tone to it which looks rather nice in my opinion. So pretty cool little guy. Uh, he has a um, what do you call it? A little peg hole on his back here. Same for the other Spartan too. So in case they ever want to put some accessories on these guys, they have it on there. So nothing really new about that Spartan 2. Then, of course, the last figure that's included with the set is the Blue Flame Marine. So this guy we've seen in quite a bit of sets now. We've seen him maybe about five times, I think. Um, so he's kind of getting a little bit old. Um, but anyways... He comes with one big accessory, of course, which is the flamethrower. Uh, it's m split up into uh, how many different parts? One, two, three, four different parts. So you got the kind of the nozzle part, the handheld part, the hose, and also the backpack part. Uh, but you plug those all together, and they make one big flame marine. Um, but other than that, you know, it's exactly the same from all the other ones that I've been making. The only thing that might be different is that the paint's a little more glossier than the originals, but um, that's pretty much it. You can take the flame, uh, the flamethrower off if you want to. You just unplug it. There's a uh, hole on his back as well as the other guys. Um, and yeah, articulation for him. He has ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders. Uh, what else? A hinged elbows, silver wrist, silver waist, ball jointed. Uh, hips and hinged knees. 
So that's pretty much it for this pack. You get four UNSC um, troopers and also four Covenant troopers, um, and all for a price of fourteen ninety nine, which, in my opinion, is a really good price, seeing that you get so many army builders in one pack, um, and especially the grunts because you rarely see them in any packs. And you also get two different um, figures with color variation, such as the Copper Elite now and also the Orange Marine. So, anyways. That's pretty much it for this review. I'm going to rate it a, I'd say, 4 out of 5. The only reason I'm giving it that is because um, I don't like how the weapons are just a plain flat color. At least put some paint detail onto them. I know they've done that before, and it's probably not that hard or not that difficult to do, but it probably cost a little bit more for them to make. Um, but other than that, you know, this pack is extremely cool. You do get some figures that have been released so far, but you do get some new ones and also some hard-to-find ones such as the Grunts. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's a really awesome pack and I highly recommend it. So if you do see one of these, see one of these packs, I pick it up immediately. It's just a really cool army builder battle pack. So anyways, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this review and I'll see you guys in the next video.